What is going on, everybody? Now that the NBA playoffs all have game ones under their belts, I decided let's discuss what is going on so far. So before we begin, hit that thumbs up button, subscribe, comment if you'd like to. I want to hear your thoughts on specific series. So we will just get this one out of the way. Obviously, I have a Sixers Heat game one up already, and the Sixers dominate and win by 27 when Ben Simmons is one rebound shy of a triple-double. But you can go check that video out in its entirety. It is on my channel. So, the Warriors played the Spurs, and they won. Without Steph Curry, which is a big, big factor with that squad, they won 113-92, to and it was funny because it kind of came down to a little bit of a uh, JaVale McGee, you know, he, he was sparking the energy, sparking the crowd, trending on Twitter at one point. It wasn't obviously him that won the game, but he had 15 points, and the crowd was getting hype. The crowd was getting hype. But you look at it, KD had 24, Klay Thompson had 27, and this Spurs team is just not the same. They don't have their best player in Kawhi Leonard. Greg Prop Popovich pretty much brought this team to another playoff, which is fantastic for his resume that he continues to do it. But this team just isn't going to be able to compete with this Golden State Warriors team, and it, and it kind of showed in Game 1. The Raptors and the Wizards. And this game was close. This is a 1 versus 8 matchup. 1 versus 8. But. Washington is an 8th seed that didn't have an all-star pretty much playing their whole entire backstretch of the season until late. So when you look at it. John Wall. 23 points. 15 assists. Missing that for the back stretch of the season is huge. Uh, the Raptors won 114 to 106 to take a one nothing lead in the series, but this this played out tightly, real tightly. I mean, Bradley Beal had 19 points as well, but when you look at the Raptors stat lines, nobody really went off. I mean, Serge Ibaka at 23 and 12, but you you gotta expect Demar Derozan to have a little bit more than 17 points and six to 17 shooting, and Kyle Lowry to have more than 11 points. He did have nine assists. But the way it played out, Washington really did put up an intense, intense fight. You did have Wright coming off the bench, though, for this Raptor squad and giving them 18, which is a huge contribu contribution off the bench. But uh, keep an eye on that series. Just because it's a one nothing series, uh, Washington played fantastic. And then the Pelicans Trailblazers game. And the Trailblazers are obviously a higher seed. And I was impressed. I was impressed by Anthony Davis coming into the Trailblazers barn and going to work. They won 97-95. to It came down to a fouling game at the end. The, the Trailblazers just had to continue to foul them. Anthony Davis had 35 points and 14 assists. Drew Holiday also dropped 21 points. Evan Turner on the other side, 13 and 11. Lillard, only 18 points, had 7 assists, 7 boards, shot 6 of 23. That is not a great field goal percentage. That, that series is going to be played out, and it's going to be a good one. I mean, that's a battle. That is, an, that is an intense battle. So the Pelicans take that one to nothing. And then this is crazy, fellas. This is crazy. LeBron James falls to the Pacers. Victor Oladipo and the Pacers. 98-80. to 80. It wasn't even a close game. But he got interviewed after the game. He said, listen, I've been down 3-1 in the finals. You think I'm that nervous and I'm down 0-1 in the first round? And, and I know that's true. He shuts down everything. He goes, I'm going to watch film with music on, of course, because I don't. I shut down. I don't listen to anything you guys say. The commentators, the news reporters, I don't listen to anything. He's going to be all right. But looking at the Pacers, props to Victor Oladipo, 32 points, 6 boards. LeBron James had a triple-double, 24 points, 10 boards, 12 assists. And when you look at the other starting play, Kevin Love, 9 points. 17 rebounds, but 9 points. He's got to be more of a, a threat than that. Rodney Hood, 9 points. Jeff Green, 0 points, 0 for 7 from the field, 0 for 3 from 3. I mean, is that going to consistently keep up? I really doubt it. 
But hey, Pacers have the one nothing lead over Cleveland. The Celtics and the Bucks. That was such an entertaining game. It goes to overtime. It goes to overtime. Chris Middleton hit an insane shot at like a little bit inside half court to tie the game with like .5 seconds left to bring it to overtime after Rozier just hit a, a big shot for the Bucks. So it's crazy, but... When you look at it, Al Horford post the double double. You know he's going to bring that veteran presence. The Greek freak. Let's talk about thirty five points, thirteen boards, seven assists. This was definitely the best game of the game once. I mean, this game was awesome. And hey, the Bucks are pretty much showing we can do this, fellas. Don't count us out against the Celtics team. They held in there and brought it to overtime in the Boston Garden, in the TD Garden. So moving along. The Thunder take down the Jazz, and I didn't think that was going to happen. I'll be honest with you. 116-108 to 108 to take the one nothing lead, OKC does, and, and this team's great on paper, fellas. It's great on paper, but I just don't feel like they have that chemistry. Did they prove me wrong tonight? They did. I'll tell you, he had a great night, and his name is Paul George, 8 from 11 from 3. From 3, he shot 13 to 20 at 36.7 boards. I mean, he he was pure domination. Russell Westbrook, 29, 13, and 8 was his stat line. While Carmelo dropped 15 and grabbed 7 boards. Now, Donovan Mitchell had himself a double-double, 27 points, 10 boards. I really despise talking about him because of the Ben, ben Simmons situation, but he played tonight, he played well tonight, but they got the loss. And that's what really matters at this time of the year. They got the loss. And then to close it all out, the late one on TNT, the Rockets played the Timberwolves. And I will give kudos to the Timberwolves because it took James Harden going absolutely off for the for the Rockets to actually be able to pull this one through. He dropped 44 points in that eight boards, James Harden. I mean, he was cooking from everywhere. Hit seven three-pointers, 15 of 26. Is that not a pure domination takeover MVP-like game? Carl Anthony Towns, 8 points, 12 boards. You need to see a little bit more offense out of him. Andrew Wiggins, 18 points. This game was close, though. I mean, you're talking a 1-8 and eight matchup. A 1-8 and eight matchup. In the West. In the West. So, for, for Minnesota to say, listen, this ain't no joke. We're going to be around. I like that. Jimmy Butler only had 13 points, though. So, they struggled offensively. So... You know, to be only be a three point game and they struggled that much offensively, I could be saying a lot. So so that's the game recaps of of game ones. Let me know what you think about this. Do you enjoy this? I know it's not straight Philadelphia sports, but I enjoy just covering the NBA playoffs as a whole. Let me know what you think. Hit that thumbs up button, subscribe, comment, and I will see you guys next time.